We've woken up, it's very grey and very wet here in Wales today, but we're going to make the best of it because basically the forecast is looking a little bit iffy for the rest of our holiday. We've come to a place called Conway or Conway, I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Apparently his bed is the original bed. He was so small in that room. So small. The rain won't stop us. <laughs> We've had pizza so much this holiday. Lottie's writing some postcards. Her great grandma, so my grandma, gave them some pocket money and she said, you have to buy a postcard with some of it. That's brilliant, well done darling. You've done such a good job there. I think they're gonna love it. They've got a little bit battered in mummy's bag but they're perfect. <laughs> I think they're going to absolutely love those. We've got some resident chefs in the kitchen. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay and uh, Jamie Oliver. Just take a bite of something, kid. <laughs> oh yes. It's just for my blog. We're off on an adventure in the pouring rain. <laughs> Coming in from all sides, telling me lies, but I Saturday today. I look a little bit bedraggled because we've been out in the rain all morning but we got up this morning to go on a little adventure and this was one of the things that we were all most looking forward to. We pre-booked it weeks ago and that is Zip World. So they have a few different sites throughout North Wales. We went to the forest site and it's basically like a go ape but there's a little bit more going on. There's quite a lot of adrenaline things that you can do and we thought that we had booked it and coordinated it perfectly. So myself, my sister, Jamie and Maddie got up earlier and headed there so we could do the bigger zipline adventure because the younger two weren't big enough to do the big one. And then we were gonna cross over with the other three, John, Lottie and Wren. I was gonna take the dog because obviously the dog can't roam the forest while we're doing activities. And then we were gonna watch them do theirs after we'd done ours. And it was all going really well. Got all my harness on, my helmets, started doing all the training and then realized due to like the weather because the weather was really bad 
and various other things, there was absolutely no way I was going to be able to complete the course because it takes a couple of hours and then stand there and get ready to look after the dog. So I had to sit it out, which I was so disappointed about because it was one of the things that I was really looking forward to. But they all had fun and I knew that Lottie and Ren really wanted to do it as well. So I couldn't stop them doing their one. So I ended up just wandering about in the rain with Rolo, watching everybody else do it and have fun. But they all looked like they had a really good time. And then at the end, we were supposed to be doing this sky ride, which is this big like forest swing. And that was shut due to technical difficulties. So haven't had that much luck personally myself this morning, but everybody else seemed to have a really good time. And now we've come back to our cottage. We are just having a quick freshen up. I don't think we're gonna have time for a shower actually. And then we're going out to meet my uncle and my cousins for lunch because they live on the border of Wales in Shropshire. So they're just gonna come and visit us and spend a couple of hours with us as well. So that'll be really nice and then I don't really know what we're going to do with the rest of our day because it's nearly over really it's like nearly two o'clock now and it's not particularly nice weather so we will see what the rest of the day brings <laughs> boys are cooking bacon sandwiches for us. Rolo, I notice you're by the bacon. Lassie, why is it? It's called is that funny, Lassie? <laughs> So. Look at these. What have you got, lots? I've got um, a lotus biscoff waffle with Nutella sauce. Lotus biscoff waffle with Nutella sauce. That's mine, really. And this is a waffle with salt caramel ice cream. Lottie. Oreos, marshmallows, and white chocolate sauce. <laughs> Lottie likes Footloose, the song, and it's just come on. Then will we? Bye! So this is called the tiny house and it's basically in somebody's back garden but it's gorgeous. It's really really sweet. So there's a bed up there which I'll show you in a second. Then you've got a little kitchen area and then in here is the bathroom. Oh right, it goes back so you've got a little shower and toilet in there. So you guys will be up there, I think. Mummy and Daddy. Yeah, and you guys can sleep up there. And then Mummy and Daddy will sleep on here. Tell us what's up there then. Be careful. What's up there? There's only one bed. There's a bed. It is Sunday today and we've had a really nice morning. It's now nearly three o'clock. But we got up, we checked out of Surfy Cottage, which was the last place we were staying. That was really nice, wasn't it? It was just a really nice, cosy, super clean place to explore North Wales. I will make sure I leave all the links to where we stayed in the description box. Not an ad in any way, we've paid for them all ourselves, but I just think when you're planning a trip like this, it's quite nice to get inspiration from where other people have stayed, even if it's just the area that they've stayed in. And then we went to Lundudno again because my sister hadn't been and we kind of wanted to see it. So we headed there and it wasn't raining this time. I mean, it's been raining on and off, but when we actually got there, it wasn't raining. So we went for a little walk down the pier because the kids love all those kind of like souvenir shops and stuff like that. There was also a Punch and Judy show, which I have not seen in absolutely years. <laughs> have you? Mm -hmm. like, I didn't even know they still did them. And this one had apparently been in the family, the same family for like however long 1860. since 1860 which is crazy like five generations of them had done it or something and the kids were really sort of fascinated to watch it so that was good that's such 
British seaside, isn't it? Yeah. So that was quite fun to watch. Then we went to a place called The Looking Glass, which is like a ice cream parlor, and it's all themed on Alice in Wonderland, and that was really nice as well because the people in there, like serving, were really, really friendly, and the ice creams were amazing. I had like an ice cream sundae the size of my head, and the kids had a waffle. Did you like the waffles? Yeah. They were really good and you got to choose all like your different toppings and stuff so that was really fun and then we said goodbye to my sister and Jamie because they're off home now. It was really nice to see them like it just sort of happened by chance that they were coming to Wales and then we sort of like ended up sort of being together for a few days so that was really nice and then we went to Anglesey which is the last destination on our trip we're staying here for two nights and we're staying in what is called on Airbnb the tiny house so basically I think it looks like it's someone's garage they've converted it's in someone's garden but you feel perfectly fine being in someone's garden don't you mm -hmm. um, and it's really nice it's got like a little mezzanine floor which the kids love so they're gonna sleep upstairs on the mezzanine floor and I hopefully it's gonna be a really nice place to explore Anglesey so we dumped off our stuff there and now we're heading to a place called Abbasock which is where John spent many a childhood holiday so he wants to go and reminisce with his grandparents grandparents used to take him on holiday to Abbasock so that's where we're going Sunset. We call ourselves the, the sunset, sunset Chasers. chasers. <laughs> oh God, I didn't actually rehearse that whatsoever. Um, we call ourselves the Sunset Chasers because we love to chase a sunset. And the only thing about this amazing holiday so far that hasn't been that good is that we haven't been able to find many sunsets because it's been raining quite a bit. We had one, but it wasn't great. So we're heading to the end of Anglesey to South Stack Lighthouse, which is on Holy Island or Holly Island. It says holy, but it probably is holly, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to go and see if we can find a sunset. The sunset was okay. It wasn't amazing, was it, guys? No. It was nice. The sky started to go quite pink, but it was also quite like hazy, foggy as well. It wasn't the best I've ever seen, but it was one of the most beautiful locations I've ever seen for a sunset with the lighthouse. And now it's quarter past nine, and we are heading home to bed. It is Monday today. It's our last full day in Wales. Boo! But the sun is shining, sort of. It's a sunny cloud, which we can deal with. And we were like, right, let's make the most of our last day, although it's not going too well currently. So we got up this morning. We got, had quite a late start this morning because we were all quite tired after the sunset last night. And we had a quick detour to the longest place name in the UK, which was, was incredibly called? exciting. It was called... <laughs> It's 58 letters long and Maddie and Ren were so incredibly impressed by it that they didn't even bother getting out of the car. But Lottie got out and had a picture with it, didn't you? Were you blown away by it, Lottie? Yeah. It was very exciting. And then we headed to Beaumaris, I think it's called. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. That's a little seaside town on Anglesey. And we just got ourselves a coffee and a cake. The cakes were absolutely huge. And then we decided, because it was a sunny day, that we would come to Aber Falls. So Aber Falls is a pretty easy five kilometer-ish hike that leads you to a huge waterfall. So we thought that would be brilliant. That would be a really nice hike to do with the kids decided to get there and it seems like the whole of Wales and the UK have had the same idea so we basically got to the car park and decided to turn around we're gonna do it in the morning we're gonna get up early on our last day and do it but we've been honestly queuing to get out of the car park 
for what about half an hour yeah, 40 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah. it's because people keep coming in and then blocking the road so uh, that's a bit of an adventure so we decided not to do that so I think what we're gonna do now is head to Port Merion so Port Merion is a beautiful pastel Mediterranean style village and John's been there when he was young I've always wanted to go there so I think we're gonna head there now I have no illusions that it's not gonna be really really busy because the weather's nice today but we're just gonna check it out and uh, see how we get on a little travel vlogger tip for you do not come to Aber Falls at midday on a sunny day that's probably an obvious tip on reflection but we don't know be this busy John's inwardly seething aren't you right. everyone's being very polite right. to each other though but we're just blocked in just to make matters worse on this little stopover we're having I need the toilet really badly then mommy needs the poo poo <laughs> <laughs> it was a wee I needed so our day's not going so well so far steam train steam train so <laughs> we headed to Port Marion I like to think that John and I are quite good holiday planners we do spend quite a lot of time and effort researching nice places to go on holiday don't we yep. and today has been a bit of a disaster so we've definitely not been in top planning mode today so after our little uh, disaster at Aber Falls we said right we'll go to Port Marion like I said before always wanted to go there very pretty sort of Italian style buildings very colorful right up our street got there took an hour to get there and basically you aren't allowed dogs there so I knew it was somewhere that you sort of had to pay to get into it's kind of like even though it's a village that you walk around I presume to sort of limit visitor numbers you have to pay to get in etc but I didn't realize that you wouldn't be allowed dogs if you're just sort of wandering around a village so it's guide dogs only and it was quite expensive yeah but I would have paid because I've always wanted to go there but yeah so no dogs so we can't leave Rolo dog in the car so now I'm not sure really what we're gonna do we're all feeling a bit despondent deflated, deflated yeah so brilliant we will see us. put him brilliant use of our time. thank you thank yeah you. brilliant use of our final day of holiday but don't worry we're gonna turn it around it's also raining now as well <laughs> I've seen in wings in between And all that I've taken away Can never compare to the love that we share day of holiday today and we're up bright and early not as early as we were going to do we originally set our alarms for half past five thinking we might get a little bit of a nice sort of sunny sunrise because that was what the weather was predicting but the weather changes so quickly here we set our alarms for half five woke up and it was just really gray and you know anything nah we'll have an extra hour in bed so we ended up getting up at quarter to seven it's now half past seven and we're out the house and we are on our way to Aber Falls we're hoping to beat the rush <laughs> and not be as busy as it was yesterday who knows whether that will be true or whether it will still be busy at this time of the morning but fingers crossed it's definitely not going to be as busy as it was yesterday so John has just popped into the garage to get some change for the car park and get himself a coffee and then we are on our way just us and one other car so we are definitely in a better position than we were yesterday we're on a slug count so far we've spotted 50 we're trying to spot 100. 50 slugs. 50 slugs, this is a lot of slugs. There's one, that's number 50. Are you thoroughly enjoying counting slugs? Keeping them entertained. You were slug champion. 1998. 1998. It's very foggy up there, where we're going. <laughs> I bet we don't even see the waterfall. That's why there's no one in the car park, because they know. Nope. They know. <laughs>
was absolutely amazing. If you get a chance to go to Aber Falls, then definitely do. And make sure you go early because we were the only ones up there. There was one other car in the car park, but we were the only ones up there. We didn't see anybody else. And we were up there for ages, weren't we? Just sitting there, the kids were throwing rocks, we were taking pictures and video. And we were probably up there 40 minutes and it was only right at the end did somebody else come up. A family came up. I took a little family photo for them at the top and then that was it and it was just so nice it's so beautiful probably one it was like out of a fairy tale wasn't it yeah. it was just gorgeous so i really recommend that and now we're walking back down and uh it was just so lovely we are being super indulgent so we got back from Aber falls and the bed was still out because john and i are on the sofa bed and we were already planning to chill out for a little bit anyway and then we're going to pack up and head off so we thought we'll just get back into bed for a bit. So the kids are playing upstairs on their little mezzanine bit. John's closing his eyes but not actually sleeping because obviously maybe. he's maybe sleeping because he has got a long drive obviously later on and I'm going to read my book and it's just really nice. It's just really chilled. Just packing up the last of our stuff. Ready, Mommy? Three, two, three. Ready, Mommy? Look. Wow. Ready? Yeah. Very good. Live from Wales. <laughs> Live from Wales for the last time. We went for some lunch, which was very nice. I didn't film it, but you'll be pleased to know it wasn't pizza. And then we're now going home. It's going to take us four hours, and we're very sad to be leaving Wales. We had the best holiday. Wales is absolutely stunningly beautiful and just full of adventures. So much fun for people who love the outdoors. It was just amazing. But now we're gonna go. So we'll say goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 That was really cheesy. Bye.